In this video, we will be overviewing the My Listings page. To access your My Listings page, you'll simply want to click Welcome, call me your name, and then select My Sell slash Lease Listings. What that will do is open up a new tab and log you into your My Listings page. And the first thing to keep in mind once you're here um, is this top tab here. Uh, this white bar is going to just be search filters that you can apply to your listings. It'll look exactly like it does on the search map itself. You are automatically set to look at your active listing types. So that's going to be anything marked as active and hold for lease or for sell. Um, if you would like to access your off market listings, you would just click type like we did to view what was active, deselect your active listing types, and then select the appropriate off market listing types. And then you'll see um, whichever ones have been marked as such there. I'm going to go ahead and just switch it back to our active types for us. I did want you to know that that is how you will go about accessing your off-market listings. You can then search um, any search filters like you do when you're searching for active listings. Um, you can use those filters to search through your, um, your own personal listings. Then you'll see there's an add a listing button and that's a quick jump to go into adding a listing. If you'd like to see that process, we do have a full video for adding a listing in our listing management uh, category. You can download your inventory report by clicking here and you can choose if you'd like to look at that as a PDF or an XLS form. And then you would just hit, hit submit and it'll generate for you. Sometimes this does take a minute or two to load, just depending on how many listings you have. So from here, you can copy the link or you can click view. Once you do that, your inventory report will appear um, in a new tab with a rendered PDF. So you can see these are um, the quote unquote active listings in my test account. I'm going to go ahead and just go back to our main tab there. To the right, you can verify your listings. Um, all listings should be updated or verified every 30 days. So if you click this verify button there, you'll be able to see all of your listings when they were last verified and you can individually verify the listings. Or at the top, you can go ahead and hit verify all. I'm going to go ahead and hit the X button here. Um, just we don't need to do anything new with these test listings. Then I'm just going to go ahead and hit the back button. Um, and that would take me back to where we were previously. But if I hit my listings, it'll also take me into that my listings page too. So you've got a few options there. You can view the leads that have come through on your listings by clicking view leads. This allows you um, to see who's viewed your listing and some contact information for them. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit the back button here. And now that's taking us back to the my listings page. You can view the traffic on your listings. So this does show me the traffic for um, all of my listings for over 30 days. But if you click on those drop downs, you can see I can then do them. Uh, the views for 30 days, 90 days, one year, or all views ever. Um, you can choose instead of looking at all listings, if you wanna just look at one of your listings, you can do it that way. Um, just by clicking that drop down and selecting the listing from below. I'm gonna go back to all listings um, just because none of my listings should be too active right now. Um, but then your listing traffic is going to be separated into three reports. So this first one is just going to be the number of views based on the day that it's been viewed. Uh, below, it's going to be where this is open from. So there should be three different ones that you see there. And then the last one down below is going to be the location. So where your listings have been viewed from. Um, so again, this isn't supposed to be a quote unquote live listing. So it's got very few views available. I want to go ahead again and hit the back button to get back to that my listings page or actually take me back to my listing traffic. So I'm going to hit back a few times. There we go. Um, so then from there, I'm going to zoom this out a little bit more. So then you'll see um, down below this should have all of the properties that since I am on my active um, listings types, you should see all the properties that you have active listings at. If you would like to view the listings within those properties, you can hit the show uh, number space or spaces. Once you do that, it'll expand. You'll be able to see your active listings that you have there um, or your off market if you uh, selected the off market types. Or instead of just expanding one properties listings, you can click expand all. What that will do is expand all of the pro or all the listings that you have at all of the properties you have active listings at. You can also choose to sort these listings. So they're automatically set to sort by modified date um, in descending order, but you can actually apply two different uh, sorting methods. And if you want them in descending or ascending order, there's modified date, 
property type, center park name, city, street, land size, building size, and total available square feet. How you choose to do that is up to you, but again, remember that it, they are automatically set to sort by modified date in descending order. So then once you've expanded your listing or expanded the properties that you have listings at, you'll see some buttons there. So you can choose to edit your listings from this screen. Um, and we will have a video just set for editing um, listings and property records that you can see um, what that process looks like in its entirety. But I will show you what happens if you hit the edit button. It just takes you into the edit listing screen. I'm going to go ahead and hit back. Then you can hit view. What that will do is send you to a link um, that you can share. And this is just your public listing information. Um, if you do send it to a member, um, this one's or a non-member, this one's private, so they wouldn't be able to see anything. Um, so just keep that in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and hit back. You can choose to promote from this screen. Once you do that, you can create a report. Um, and that's just gonna be any of those report types that are available to you on the search maps. Or you can request a, a broadcast email um, for as many of the listings that you have active at that property. I'm not gonna go through the whole process. I'm just gonna show you what that looks like. And what this is, is just letting the members know that, hey, I have this listing or listings available at this property. If you're looking for something like this, I'm going to go ahead and close this. Um, just We don't need to go through that whole process. We do have a video specifically about um, creating broadcast emails if you'd like to view that. I'm going to go ahead and just hit X there. Then you can see the individual traffic on this report. I'm going to go ahead and hit back again because um, we have gone through that already. And then last but not least, another quick thing that you can do um, from this My Listings page is just if you know you've got another building or another um, space available at a particular building you've already got listings at, you can then just hit Add Space. And what that will do is jump you directly to Listing Input so you don't have to search for the building. Um, and that's just kind of the basics on navigating your My Listings page. Thank you.